the blood is officially on the streets. Bitcoin is down over 70% from all time high. Market sentiment right now is at the lowest that it has been since the March 2020 pandemic sell off. Extreme fear is literally everywhere that we look right now. Some people think that the way to get rich is by investing during a bull market, but that actually is the furthest thing from the truth. The way you get rich is actually investing during a bear market. Today, I'm going to tell you guys how my life was forever changed by investing during the previous two bear markets. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what it is that I am going to be buying during this bear market at exactly what price I am looking to buy in and what the potential may be once the market recovers. Even if I just hit on half of these investments, my portfolio during the next bull run will 10x minimum on the investments that I will be making during this bear market. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jay and welcome to Bitcoin Daily. In 2017, I was able to retire from my full-time job to do crypto full-time. And this was all due to the investments that I made during the previous bear market. So before I tell you guys exactly what it is that I'm going to be buying during this bear market, let's jump into a quick story time. In 2015, Bitcoin was at the end of of a two year bear market. Young Bitcoin Daily had absolute no idea how Bitcoin worked, but he wanted to bet on some sports games. The only way to do that at the time in the US was through Bitcoin. So young Bitcoin Daily ended up leaving around $800 in his Bitcoin account, which in a few months, 3x by mistake. Given the insane rise in Bitcoin's price, Young Bitcoin Daily obsessed over Bitcoin throughout 2016 and all the way throughout the 2017 run where Bitcoin made a return of over 5,000%. Of course, with every great rise, there's a great fall. And in 2018, Bitcoin dropped by 83, almost 84%. While most were selling at a loss and calling crypto a scam, Young Bitcoin Daily doubled and tripled down on his investments going all in. He quit his day job and started a crypto brand known as Bitcoin Daily on Instagram where he made money through trading crypto and selling promos on his Instagram. Everything he made, he literally threw right back into crypto as he believed in this 100%. And when the 2020 bull run came back around, he was able to make more money than he ever imagined was possible through investing in crypto. Now, we find ourselves in yet another similar situation here. Guess what old Bitcoin Daily is going to be doing for the next year or two? So let me show you guys exactly how I will be constructing my bear market portfolio so that when the next rally comes around, you guys are all prepared with me. So the first step when constructing your portfolio for the next bull run is that you need to construct it sort of like a house. So you need to start with the first layer of building a house, which is the foundation. Without laying out the foundation for a house, you can't build on top of it. Everything will eventually start to crumble and fall apart as there will be no steady ground to build upon. So the way to build your foundation for your crypto portfolio is by investing in things that are not super volatile. So the least volatile thing in crypto itself is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the king of all cryptos. However, Bitcoin goes is how the entire market goes. So for example, even though Bitcoin right now is down 70%, if you look over at altcoins, you'll notice that they're down even more. For example, Ethereum here is down almost 77%. Solana is down 86%. Cardano's down 84%. Polka dots down 86%. You get the picture. So what I'm doing is I'm building my foundation by putting about half of my portfolio in two different investments. The first one is of course, Bitcoin that we just spoke about. This means that about 25% of my portfolio will be invested in Bitcoin. 
This is just a rule of thumb. If you want your portfolio to be a little bit less volatile, then you can move that number up higher. If you want your portfolio to have to be more volatile, you can move that number lower. So with Bitcoin down 70% and it's all time high being at $69,000, even from just this price right now, if we were to go back up to its previous all time high, that's 240% on that move alone. That means if I put $10,000 into Bitcoin right now, by the time it reached back to its all time high in the next bull run, I'll make $24,000 or 240% return on that. But remember that during bull runs, Bitcoin doesn't go back to its all time high. It goes beyond its previous all time high. So let's say that Bitcoin goes to 100,000 in the next bull run. At current prices, that's gonna be around a 400% return on your investment. So if you put in 10 grand during this bear market, when the next bull run hits, which could be in the next one to two years, I'm expecting by 2024, most probably, for Bitcoin to be at these levels where we might be hitting $100,000. Now, the next biggest position that I will be taking during this bear market is going to be in Ethereum. Not only is Ethereum currently down even more than Bitcoin right now, but it has Ethereum 2.0, which should be happening sometime soon. The same way that Bitcoin is the king of all crypto, I believe that Ethereum is the king of the altcoins. Usually when altcoins move, Ethereum is the one that leads the way. If you bought into Ethereum during the previous bear market, you could have easily done over 4,000% return. That's in a matter of two years. My target for the next bull run for Ethereum is $10,000. Buying at current prices, that's probably around an 800% gain on that position. My current buy areas for Ethereum is at $1,000 or less. So if we hit my target for next bull run, that's over a thousand percent return or 10x return on investment within the next two years. So my strategy here is buying anytime we go under a thousand and anytime we set new lows. Remember, you want a dollar cost average. You don't want to be throwing in big lump sums because at the end of the day, none of us have any idea where the bottom is. For all we know, Ethereum could drop all the way down to a hundred dollars. Who knows, right? So you just want to be buying anytime it sets a new low. I always like to buy to dollar cost average at those points. So between those two, that will make up the first half of my crypto portfolio. So 50% of my portfolio divided between Bitcoin and Ethereum that creates a great foundation plus gives me exposure to the upside that Ethereum has to 10 X that investment. Now for the rest of these investments, this is going to make up a total of of 25% of my portfolio. So Solana is an easy one for me. I am dollar cost averaging my way into Solana currently at these prices. I really want to get my average buy-in cost around that 20 to $25 range. That means that these prices right now, I'm not currently buying, but once it drops at to 25 or below, that's when I'm dollar cost averaging. If I can get my buying average around $25 and it returns to its previous all time highs, we're basically talking another 10 X investment. Even if it only went to previous all time highs, that's a 944% rise. But of course, I believe that we will go higher in the next bull run. So let's say if we hit, let's say $300, that's over 1200% return or a 12X return on investment. And you're going to see a lot of layer one projects in my portfolio because those have the most utility to be able to survive throughout the bear market and thrive within the next bull run. Next, another one of my favorite projects, AVAX is currently down 89% from an all time high of $147. If we only got back from the current prices to its previous all time high, that's a 761% return from these levels. My current target to start accumulating is between that 13 to $10 range. You can see that we've gotten very close, but we're not currently there yet. If we can get an average price of around $10 and we just went to the previous all time highs, that's about a 13 or 14 X return. 
So next we have one of the fan favorites that unfortunately due to a lawsuit was not able to hit its maximum potential during this bull run. That is of course XRP. XRP is currently down over 90% from its previous all time high, which was back in 2017, 18. If we only take into account the high from this bull run, then it's down around 83%. If we look back over the last few years, you can see that the best range to accumulate XRP has been between 30 cents all the way down to about 20 cents. We only really had to dip below 20 cents when the SEC hit them with that lawsuit, but I'm looking for an average price of at least around 20 to 25 cents here. With an average price of about 25 cents, if it were to go back to the previous highs of just this bull run, that would be about a 7X. If we went back to the previous all-time highs, which I think think it will once that case against the SEC is over, that would be around a 13X return. Next, we have Cardano, which is currently down around 84%. I might start accumulating around this little support that I see over here. That's around 35 cents. So that'll probably be the area where I begin to accumulate and add to my positions. And as it makes new lower lows, I will DCA into those. If we can get an average price of around 30 cents and we run it back up to the previous all time high, we will be making an easy 10X return on that investment. If it goes beyond it, you guys already know that will be a return of over 10X on this. So because the video is getting kind of long, I'm gonna add these next three in really quickly and that's going to be Polkadot, Polygon, and Chainlink. So for Polkadot, I'm looking to start accumulating between six to $4. Chainlink, I'm looking to accumulate between $5 to $2.50. And Polygon Matic, I'm looking to accumulate between $0.40 cents all the way down to about $0.30. Cents. And you can see that it's already in my accumulation zone. If we can get an average price within those accumulation zones and they just go back to previous all-time highs, that would be 10x returns on all three of these. Litecoin is another one that has been around forever and it's right at the tip of my accumulation zone where I'm going to begin accumulating. It's currently down about 87%. I'm looking to buy under $50. I think that could be another easy 10X. Bitcoin Cash is more of a dart throw probably, but it's it's something that I'm going to be adding in. It's down over 90%, currently sitting at around 120. At $800, I will be accumulating. And the final one, which is also a bit of a dart throw in this part of the portfolio is of course everyone's favorite Doge. I'll be accumulating a little bit of it as it's already down 92%. I know there's a lot of hype behind it, I still think Elon Musk is going to add additional ways for people to use it within Twitter and SpaceX and Tesla. So who knows, this might be able to go all the way up to a dollar after all within the next bull cycle. If I can accumulate it around five cents or less and it runs back up to the previous all time highs, that's a 14 X. If it ever goes to a dollar, that's about a 19 to 20 X. So it's worth a shot. Now for the rest of my portfolio, I have 25% left and this, I split it up differently depending on many variables. So I can't say exactly how it's going to be split up, but the general way that I begin splitting it up is 10, 10 and five for the remaining 25% of my portfolio. So anywhere between 10 to 20% is usually within my trading capital. So I'm using it to trade short term. Let's just call it 10% for now to make things simple. Usually I like to keep another 10% in cash to buy dips, right? And then the last 5% is for basically degen plays, gambles, lottery tickets, and projects that I like to, for fun, you know, uh, put money into and create content around. I'm basically looking for projects that I believe will be here within the next two years that I think have utility or I just believe in for one reason or another. The majority of them are top 25 projects within the crypto market. And basically all I'm doing is trying to keep it as simple as possible, looking for 
levels to accumulate at. I'll use those levels to dollar cost average my way into those positions as I build them. And then by 2024, when the next bull run comes around, my bags are locked and loaded and prepared to take off and hit the moon. This is literally what I've done the past two bear markets. I've picked projects that I believed in. I thought they would be around for the next two years, the next bull run. Remember guys, none of this is financial advice. These are just my perspectives, my opinions, my thoughts. This is just to give you guys an idea, open up your mind on what you should be doing during these bear markets. While everybody else is afraid, I am accumulating. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And tell me in the comments which of these you are accumulating and what other projects that I might have missed in this video should I be taking a look into. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next video. As always, peace and love.